In the great American novel To Kill a Mockingbird, Atticus Finch defines real courage for his son Jim by saying, it's when you know your lick before you begin, but you begin anyway, and you see it through no matter what. During this season of Lent, we make the spiritual journey with Jesus all the way to the cross. And in so doing, we learn all over again that he, Jesus, is the epitome of such courage in the pursuit of justice and righteousness. Did Jesus know he was licked even from the early days of his ministry? Scriptures tell us at several points that he indeed knew of the suffering and betrayal and death to come, and that he communicated this impending doom to his disciples often. Strangely, though, his foreknowledge was not accompanied by the resignation one would expect when faced with events that seemed to be predestined. Far from it. Jesus never ceased praying to the Father, surely in the hope that the spiritually blind among him might again see one day. Jesus would teach his disciples that the labor of love unto God's glory must continue in the here and now, even as the forces were gathering to destroy the movement and crucify its leader. Put on your courage, he must have urged. Join me ceaselessly in this dance for love and justice and freedom, and hold fast to your faith in the righteousness of the way. <laughs> this hardly sounds like one who is passively resigned to taking a licking. And oh, by the way, Atticus Finch added one more sentence justifying to Jim the urgency of pressing on with real courage in the face of certain defeat. You rarely win, he said, but sometimes you do. What encouragement this is for all of us to keep spreading the light of Christ in our own lives, no matter how dark things appear. May we all stay courageously in the game with Jesus as this Lenten journey continues. The game is one of suffering and loss, as it is for all of us. But the Gospel of John, in particular, drops a few hints that there could be a big, big upset in the making. Do you believe in miracles? Stay tuned. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>